Hey, I'm Kaylee, and I serve here at FA in the Family Children's Ministry. Today, I'm going to be sharing a message about what it means to build an altar around rest and Sabbath. As I was thinking about the rhythm of rest and the importance of Sabbath, God led me to this chapter in Hebrews. So I'm going to be reading from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Therefore, since the promise of, re- of entering His rest still stands, Let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it. This passage shows us that God's promise of rest still remains, and we can enter into that rest through faith. The calling of our hearts, our commission, is not just seeking time to practice rest, but it is combining rest with faith. God makes His rest available to us, and it is an invitation which we have to accept through diligent faith. Unbelief will make us fall short of the rest God has for us. Hearing God's word isn't enough. You might hear the word and you might have a spiritual experience, but unless the word is mixed with faith, it will do no good. It requires faith. And when there's an anticipation of blessing and favor, the threshold of blessing increases. We know that his work has been finished since the creation of the world we can refer back to the seventh day that God rested. We are entering His rest, which demonstrates that God still has this rest. There is a call to resist the urge to perform, hustle, and work ourselves to the ground. And entering His rest means that you are entering into His promise of rest from our soul, from our labors and hard work, from wandering and restlessness. Our promise for rest is not simply just to evade the restlessness of our souls, but to examine our hearts, thoughts, and attitudes. We want to often escape our cycle of exhaustion and burnout. We consume our lives with busyness, tasks, schedules, vacations, and in the midst of all of this exhaustion and cultural going, there remains a rest given to us by God. It can't be fulfilled from vacation, binge watching your favorite show, or retail therapy. Sabbath rest is the way we practice the reality of the rest that Jesus brings us into. It's restorative to our soul, but it's not always easy. It can be hard to take a day of rest and worship and delight in God. And Matthew 11, 28 to 29 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So God, I just pray for those who are seeking deeper intimacy with you. I pray you would just remove anything that hinders us from entering into your presence. And I pray that we would just be diligent to accept the invitation and read your word that is active and powerful, that's sharper than any double-edged sword. Lord, I pray that we would see in our lives that your blessing and favor would just abound with us. Amen.